I hope that you all enjoyed that and weren't too terrified. Uh, the more you do it, the more relaxed you become. So, um, I ended up drawing a bit longer with the learners, so that gives you an idea of a bigger blind contour drawing. You can kind of get the idea that it's a figure, but you still can't quite see what you're looking at. So we're gathering these lines together. We're going to continue now with contour drawing. So contour comes from, if you think about geography, those lines that you see on a mountain, they're called contours. And we're going to continue with contour drawing. In other words, we're going to be drawing the model, imagining that we're an insect crawling all over, like a, it'll end up being like a kind of a ball of wool. When you're drawing with contour drawing, I'd like you to forget that um, what an arm is or a leg is. So in other words, I don't want you to think I'm not drawing an arm or I'm not drawing a hand. I want you to think about the line. So you might want to say, right, this line is going to the left, that line is sloping down, this line's a bit wiggly, that line's a bit flowy, that line's jagged. Okay, so in other words, all you're doing is following this line round and about without actually saying I'm drawing a hand. And you can cross over from the hand, up across the body, down, come back again. Okay, so I'm going to suggest that you use for this one the large white piece of paper and an A3 pencil. And this time you're going to be looking at your paper but you're going to be looking at the paper for 70% of the time. Sorry, absolutely wrong. You're going to be looking at the model for 70% of the time and your paper for 30% of the time. Okay, and this is a very good rule for any kind of drawing. When you are drawing anybody, you are looking 70% of the time there and 30% at your paper. Why? Because then you make sure that you are drawing what you actually see. And you're not drawing what you think you see or making it up. The trick this time is, well, James has moved his position. Thank you, James. So you're going to have something different. Um, but you are going to stay with one continuous line, okay? And the idea again is that this time I'm looking at James. And I'm not going to be looking too much, only 30%. And as you can see, I'm not taking my pencil off the paper at all, but I'm still working towards one line, a one line likeness if possible. And so I can go over. And remember, there's no such thing as a mistake. If you don't particularly like what you've done, you can always use a different line. And so I'm going to just attempt to keep it on the paper. And so the figure is going to slowly emerge. And even if you think that you've finished with the face, remember later you can always come back to it and give it some texture as long as you stay with one particular line. Okay, it's your turn. <laughs> 